Hey everyone, Dwayne Think here, and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, icons. There's a lot of important things that I think people really need to know before they go in and decide to play this game. And it's mostly concerning the loot box system and how it actually works. So before we get into it, let's bring up icons itself. Uh, here's the website, but more importantly, the game. All right, so this is the store for icons. And when you first initially get this game, you are only going to have access to Ashana and uh, Ashani and Zana. Um, if you happen to play the closed beta, or if you're inside the closed beta, all you have to do is apply for the closed beta. You automatically get Kid and the Wave Dash skin for him. But if not, you have two of the seven characters unlocked from the get go. Um, so why is this important? So basically, everything that you unlock in this game is done purely through loot boxes, except for a few key things. One of those things are the characters themselves. There's two ways to get them. Um, so let's say you wanted to unlock just Raymer. You can either buy a pro account, which is $25, which will unlock um, all the characters that they have currently and future characters, which is very important. Or you can pay $5 just to unlock this character. The other way that you can unlock them too is by getting this credit called Spectra. And I'll talk about that a little bit in the moment. Um, but there's an important detail about this. So if you're hoping to like, let's say you wanted to play Raymer or you wanted to play this kid, Zurong, Gafi Galler, or Weishan, the second the game drops um, without paying for them, realistically that's not gonna happen. Um, you gain, the way it works is there's two leveling systems. So you have like an actual account level, which is seen right here, which is gained by Dun, uh, which is gained where you gain levels by just playing matches, winning or losing. You win, you gain a lot more experience if you win. Losing, I think on average, you got like 70 or 80, something like that. But winning was like, I would say on average, put it around like 180, which is decent. Of course, the higher level it gets, the more experience it takes to um, get to the next level. But the good thing is that it does cap out when you do reach level 11. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Oops. Come on. Yeah, so when you do reach level 11, the experience will cap out, and they do say on average it should take you 25 matches to get to that next level. Um, so that's kind of important for a lot of reasons. So as I mentioned, everything is unlocked through loot boxes, but they do have some nice systems in play there. So they are separated into four individual categories, which is common, uncommon, rare, and iconic. Um, so if they say three out of five loot boxes, you'll get a common one out of four, an uncommon one. So I would say like, on, honestly, I, from what I experienced, it was like every one or two loot boxes I got, um, there was at least an uncommon there. Um, and, but then I also got rare ones. So I would say every single time you get a loot box, expect to at least see an uncommon. It might, st it might uh, stagger more the higher level gets. Um, I was able to at least, uh, by getting level 5, I was able to get like, I think two uncommon, no, like I think uh, three uncommons, two rares, and at least one iconic. But so far, that's pretty good. Um, but the thing is this, there are a lot of things you can get in these loot boxes, which I'll show you off. So, um, each one of these characters have, um, at, at a minimum, 34 things that you can get for them. Um, well, actually, okay, You're uh, when you get a character, you automatically have three skins. So that brings it down to 31. Um, but, yeah, so it's 18, 4. Yeah, yeah, so you can get different things. There's at least like 34 different things you can get for them. So you have all these skins that you can get. The greens are the uncommon ones. The blue ones are the rare. And these yellow ones are the iconic ones. Um, then for the emotes, you have one um, uncommon, rare, and then iconic one. Uh, the voice taunts, they are only uncommon, uh, uncommon, uh, rare, no, actually common, uncommon, and then, um, rare, so there's no iconic ones yet. But then I just have all these holo- oh, I didn't realize that. But okay, these are universal, so it doesn't matter as much. Um, so character specific things, you do have those, and then, um, everything below these, these three things, the holograms, the, the vic- Oh wait, no, the victory poses, the voices, the taunts, and the skins. Those are the character exclusives. But you have these holograms which count as taunts where there's a hundred different variations of them. And then you have 23 different platforms that you can get. And these are, oh wait, are these locked to Zana? 
I hope these aren't locked. Oh my god, these are character locked? That would suck if these are character locked. I really hope these aren't. I don't have to double check. But um, at least what I expect is these holograms and these platforms aren't character locked. Which means these are also thrown into the loot boxes too. Which there's 20, which 23 holograms and you have 100 different holograms. So you have to add those to your portal packs. The different skins to your portal packs. Also these charms, which are these kind of useless things that um, just appear on your victory screen. Basically when you win, your opponent's charms will be there and your charms will be there next to your character icon. And then also you can get different tokens, which is what appears above your, um, which is, appears when you select your character, which is very useless. Um, and then the player icons, which will appear right here. Um, so you have a lot of extra junk that can appear in those loot boxes that you're not going to want. And the one that I've been getting the most common of are these charms. Like, these are, th these are the last things that you really, really want to get. <laughs> but you got a ton of them. Um, so that's something you got to keep in mind with these loot bag systems is you're most likely not going to get the things that you want and they have these credit things called spectra and the way that you get spectra is by getting duplicates of things and as you can see by having all these different things you're going to have here you're most likely not going to get duplicates but if you do happen to get a duplicate you'll at least get spectra the, the amount of spectra you get I don't know how it works and unfortunately on their website they don't really describe how it works exactly but there's at least some things that you can keep in mind right here um, the way it should work is the uncommon ones um, the uncommon ones should be worth a certain amount of spectra the rare ones should be worth a certain amount of spectra and the iconic ones will be worth a certain amount so hopefully the iconic ones are worth a thousand if you get a repeat because that means you can at least unlock a character or an iconic thing and then the characters um, yeah, if you get a uh, duplicate of Iconic, you can unlock it a character. Um, but there are some good things about the loot boxes that you should keep in mind. So if you're super unlucky, you at least get an uncommon one, one out of every six. Um, rare ones, one out of every 15. Iconic, one out of 26. And the important one, one out of every 30 packs will get, guarantee you get you a character. So that means you have to get 30 levels in order to unlock a character. So without being at the level cap, um, I got to level 5 in about 2 hours, but granted I was messing around a little bit looking through these menus. Um, but if it takes you that long to just get to level 5, and I have to still get 25 more levels without getting to the level cap at first, it is going to take you forever to unlock one of these characters if it is going to be 1 out of 30 loot boxes you do unlock one. So if you really really want to play like a like you know, Raymer, Kid, Jurong, Afi Galor, um, uh, Wei Shan, you're really gonna wanna either buy the character individually if you have zero interest in another character, or just buy um, the, the pro count. So that way you at least get all the characters guaranteed and when a new one drops, you don't have to worry about not having enough spectra or having to grind for it, which I do think is the way to go. I do say this game is a worth at least $25 right off the gate. It's a lot of fun, the online's great, and the characters themselves all feel really good. Um, right now they have this limited edition Founders Pack, but honestly, it's pretty much worthless to get because you basically get five um, you get five loot boxes, and then you're basically paying ten bucks for an icon and a skin. Which I'm like, that's that's not really worth it unless you want bragging rights. Like, oh, you got the Founders Pack. So whatever. <laughs> um, but this is where I have issue with the game, and which you'll probably have issue too, is that unlocking the skins that you want, the good thing is that you do have two levels. You have your account level and you have a character level. And it seems like every two character levels you get, you do at least unlock some. You unlock something for them, but so far I've only gotten the common. So with Zano is the only character I've played, and I got to, I think, level four there. I locked the Ruby skin, and I unlocked the Provoke Taunt. Um, the this uh, voice taunt I happen to get through a loot box luckily so I do think you're probably only gonna unlock the common things at first so to get to all of these iconic ones you're gonna really want to hope to get those uh, the, the loot boxes to get those or like hopefully enough spectra because otherwise it's gonna take you forever to get those and I really do wish that they would just give you an option to, like buy these for like one or two dollars three at the max maybe or five if it's like a special limited edition type thing but otherwise people are going to just kind of get fed up or if you could do daily goals for your character to unlock some of these things i think that'd be absolutely wonderful to do but otherwise yeah you're just going to have a huge grind fest and they're really pushing you to try to buy these things um, if you really like your character and you really want to customize them that's going to be my main grip that i have and yeah that's the biggest thing so tldr 
if you want to play a character that's not a Shani or Zana, because there's only two that you unlock from the beginning, unless you played the closed beta or signed up for it, you get Kit as well. You're going to be buying those loot boxes, or if not, buy buy the pro account. Because other like it's so much cheaper, you're not going to have to grind for it, and it'll actually take a decent time. The thing is, you will have to get to level 30 to at least guarantee yourself to unlock one character. Your mileage may vary on that, but we'll have to see on how it's rigged the higher up you go. Um, but that is something to keep in mind. I do think this game is worth picking up. I, wor I think it's worth at least trying out. If you do like these two characters, Zana and Shani, then I would say, you know, buy the pro account, play all the characters, find out who you want your main to be, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. The game is free to play, so even if you decide, I don't like the combat system at all, then you don't have to pay for it. I think the online's wonderful. I think the characters so far have turned out pretty great. Um, some of the some of the cosmetics are good, some of them are not. They're very hit or miss um, as far as, at least when I what I browse through and what my personal tastes are. But I do think you should give the game a shot before you decide to buy it. So definitely try out Zana Shani if you're interested to see how the other characters play. Um, then definitely get the pro account. I wish there was an easier way for them to at least uh, let you try them. Like, oh, like maybe you can do something. You can at least try them. At least you could at least try out each character for at least like three games. I think that'd be I think that'd be a great thing to have. But as it stands right now, this is the only way. You have to pay five bucks and unlock them or twenty five in total. Um, with that being said, yeah, hope this was informative and in letting you know on whether or not you wanted to pick this game up or not. And I'll catch you guys later. Take care.